Today is World Down Syndrome Day, and the Canadian Down Syndrome Society is debuting a powerful and moving new project. It's called Here I Am. It features photos of people 40 and up who are living with Down syndrome. And the goal here is to break down misconceptions that people living with Down syndrome don't age into their adult and senior years. For more, we are joined this morning by the Canadian Down Syndrome Society's Executive Director, Laura Lachance. Good, Good morning, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Good morning. Glad uh, to be here. Uh, I was fascinated by this project and the images are beautiful Thank and you. full of joy and beauty. How does this project work to break down the stereotypes you know, surrounding uh, you know, people living with Down syndrome who you know, I think a lot of times people think don't live past 30? Sure. Well, part of our work is to Though, dispel some misconceptions around Down syndrome. And people age 40 and over are hugely underrepresented in all aspects of media, social media, pictures. They're just not visible. So we embarked on this uh, campaign to bring these faces to the front. And beautiful faces too. These photographs are just amazing. One of the things that fascinated me was the fact that in the 80s, the numbers bore that out, that people living with Down syndrome, the average age was around 25 to 30. Right. Now, 40 years on, people are living well into their 70s. What's changed? What's changed is really advances in um, medical technology, both in uh, diagnostics and in treatment. So a lot of uh, children who used to die um, in the early years are now surviving and taking advantage of all the interventions and living a long, healthy life. Let's talk about interventions and healthy life. There are some challenges posed by lack of attention to the fact that there is a, a senior population of people living with Down syndrome. What are some of them? Well, we're hoping that it may bring to light some of the concern around uh, caregiver issues, mm. that as these folks are healthy and age, they will eventually need some kind of caregiving, as all of our parents uh, and older siblings do, mm -hmm. and that there's going to be a huge need for, for uh, caregivers in the years to come. Oftentimes that is falling to family members, either parents at first right. and then on to siblings. Around 75%, if I have that number correct, of caregiving is done by unpaid caregivers. Uh, what concerns do you have for that? The concerns I have is that it's likely going to increase and that as more of the boomer parents are living longer, mm -hmm. there's going to have to be some kind of initiative by employers to perhaps take a look at how they can support their employees to need to take time away from work or work differently in order to care for their loved one. Oh. What a great, great photo. Uh, just before I let you go, what are some of the other ways that the uh, Canadian Down Syndrome Society is working to both raise awareness and to educate people about Down Syndrome in this modern age? Well, great. Part of our mission is to share information through all the life stages. And we have resources, everything from prenatal, perinatal, toddler, school age, most importantly now employment, which wasn't even discussed a generation ago, mm -hmm. and moving towards an aging, updating our uh, aging resource. What encouraging signs you're seeing in terms of employment? We're seeing lots of encouraging signs because there's there's a shortage of, of unskilled labor mm -hmm. in today's market and we know that there are people with Down syndrome who have the abilities to fill those jobs and we are seeing more and more individuals with Down syndrome being good employees at a company and helping to improve the bottom line and that's what business is all about. We've shared some of those stories here on your morning and I'm glad to hear that there's even more of them out there. Laura, thanks for coming in today. Thank you so much. Uh, you can view Here I Am, by the way, on the Canadian Down Syndrome Society's website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.